Today we're going to try and see if we can um, do the do the death thing. So we've got the we've got the collisions working, so we can now test for whether we die, uh, and also we need to we need to sort out the game logic, the game flow, um, because at the moment it's all over the shop. So I think uh, we need to work on that. But before we do that, I got this yesterday. Oh, no, today, sorry. Oh, my head's all over the place. I got this today and it's it is so can I knock that down there we go it is five maps five maps we've got um we might need to tweak them a little bit um I don't think that's gonna hurt but this one down here might be a problem but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to export the whole lot and we can have a look at the maps and see um, see what uh, what's going on but yeah let's, uh, let's what's going on hang on work They can wait. Right, so let's get this exported and then we'll get it into the system. Right, that's exported. So um, we need to change the name. Right, so we need to, re we need to grab that name. And that needs to go there, I think. No. Yes. Ooh, that's the hood, isn't it? Where's the maps? Aha, there it is. Hey, so let's uh, do this. Right, so we shouldn't need anything else, I don't think. I think they don't think the characters have changed. don't think the characters have changed. No. The tiles definitely not changed. Right, so we should be good to go. So all we need to do is add uh, 4, 5. So that's going to be 18, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we got five maps. And let's see, we need to, right, I'm gonna just copy map one, four and five, four and five. So we don't, we don't have to do the bad guy mapping, create any bad guy mappings. So let's change them all to one. So we all got the same bad guys on the screen. Right. So, game logic is what I need.
Here we go. Right, so we're drawing map one. So this is this is we we know what map one is. We've seen it often enough. We've seen it often enough. It's this. All right, so it's that. Let's do map two. So map two, which needs a little bit of work. It does need a little bit of work. All right, so that's map two. Then um, da -da -da -da, map three. Three. So I think this is one of the new ones. So that's map three. And then we've got Map four. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is this is going to be tricky because we can't jump onto these fellas. <laughs> yeah, we. Oh, we can walk through posts, can't we? Yeah. So that's map four. <laughs> and map five. Right, okay, so we may have to start up here somewhere, I think. Oh! And he's fallen off. Yeah, that, we'll have to sort that one out. Hang on. I'll have to jump over that. There we go. And that's map number five. Oh, dear. There was a bit of lag there. Yeah, so that's map number five. So we've now got five layers. So far, five layers. And that, that is courtesy of uh, Mr. Stacy Bates. He's been playing. So we've now got five maps. So... We might have to do something with this. We might have to shuffle it over because there's a lot of spare space here. So we might have to shuffle it over to allow Quasi to actually jump on there. But we've got five levels. So we're getting there. We're getting there. All we need is some more. Um, and how bad are we doing on here? Quick start up. How much memory are we taking up? Sprite data, map data. So we. Hey, <laughs> was your ears burning, mate? <laughs> We've just run through all your maps. All that. I was just saying here, Quasi can't quite get to these because he can't go that far back. Yeah, because if you if you think about it, Quasi stands there on map one. Yeah, so we can't go past. So it's column what? What? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So he's. We can. St this is the earliest point that he can start on. Is column five. Yeah. So 
we we managed to jump we can jump on these and we we can we can drop quasi down on one of these platforms but here it would not even though we could get up there and up there and then drop down there or something like that, we couldn't get that way what i was thinking was just literally shifting it over because we got space here so we could sh just shift the map over here yeah? And same here, we could drop Quasi onto that uh, platform there. That would be a starting platform there. But, you know, it doesn't have to be. We could start from this side if we wanted to. But I think if we do it in that direction, everything else follows. But we need to tweak this as well because Quasi, <laughs> Quasi fell down there. <laughs> we need to put a floor underneath it. Need to put a floor underneath it. That one's all right because Quasi can't get back that far. But we've got five levels now. So I've just run through them on the code. I think we're on. Um, I think we're on map five at the moment. Yeah, map five. So I had to jump over that. Oh, gotta gotta be bang on that one. It walks across. It walks across the rope <laughs> like that. You know, jump. So yeah, and we got a bit of glitching. Oh, that. That is glitching. That is glitching somewhere. We'll have to find out. I think oh, I've fallen down it. I've fallen down it. <laughs> oh dear. That's it. He's, he's now falling. Should we believe it, believe it? Here we go. Come on. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way. That way. No. No. Jump. Jump. Can you do it? Can you do it? Jump. No. Now. That's it. Is internal gravity. Internal gravity. Right. Anyway. So, we have five levels that we can mess around with. So, we just need to... I think we're going to have to do a lot of code optimization. I think. So, at the moment, we haven't turned collisions on because we haven't really done. Hey, Faze. Um, we haven't really done um, any thinking about um, the death and what we're going to do down here in the hood. Down here. So. We've got the timer. Now the timer's going pretty quick, so we we can have the timer did, um, go down faster or lower depending on the the lev uh, the hardness, I suppose. We need a way to lose a life, and then we need to decide what we're going to do when when he dies when he. Well, not when he dies. When he gets when he gets dazed, do we start back at the beginning and reset, or do we carry on from where we left? You know, where he where he falls over and stuff like that. These are things that we have to think about it. So, so we need to think about game flow because at the moment the game flow is appalling. Right, so we need to start thinking about game flow. So I, I did this, I did game flow, I did a, in Neptune Lander, we talked a lot about game flow, where you have, where you have a, a, st a state machine type thing. Um, I, I don't know if you know what state machine is. Um, it's basically, um, there we go, come here you. I remembered this time. I 
<laughs> it's a mystery where you state the obvious. <laughs> so, what we do is um, we have the start, and then initialize the system, and then we can have many different states, right? So the first state could be map uh, start. Next one could be play. Next one could be um, dying. Next one could be dead. And that's what you do with a state machine. So from here, we would do the map start and then we would move to the play and then we would play until we die and then we when we die if we haven't died we go back to play or we go back to the map start where we initialize the map yeah and then if we haven't got enough lives then we go to lives then we go to dead and then from there we go back to here to start the game again that's what is meant by a state machine and we did this in Neptune Lander. We did this, but we had, but we had many, many state machines because um, we had, um, if I remember, we had instructions, um, at difficulty. Woo! Difficulty selection, and then we had um, game in it. Gameplay. Um, then we had um, crashed, dead, um, and then um, high score, I think it was, which was the last one. So we had many different states, and we ran through them. And depending on where it was, you would have, you'd have this circling round. You'd have that circling round. So this is what we've got to do with uh, Hunchback. We're going to try and um, start implementing a state machine to allow us to code the um, where he's dying, or where he gets dazed, when he gets knocked down, and how many, and and when we start the game again, right? So. First things first, we need a new um, we need a new parameter. So it might not be in there because that is storage. Yeah, no, it's here. There we go. So um, uh, game. So game state. So, in fact, we'll put game flow state. So that's where we're gonna. That's where we're gonna store our um, our state machine variable. So it means we need some need some constants. Game constants. Oh, have we got game constants? Yes, that's what I'm looking for. So, so um, game flow. So, um, oh, go away. So, game in it. And we'll have that as one. So these are the, the obvious ones. Um, map in it to uh, and playing.
Uh, dazed. Dead. Oh, come on, but it's Oh, dead, 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 dead. Um, if it's dead, we'd go back. Just wondering. Um, do we have high score? High score? In fact, uh, gaming it. Let's let's think ahead. Uh, to choose difficulty, initialize, game dead. High score if we decide to do it. Um, oh. So level completed, so playing, level completed, uh, or dazed, what else is there? What else is there? Um... Pause while you're having a. But would that that I suppose that is a state, isn't it? Because um, C64 Mark put it in his Neptune lander that he could pause it, couldn't he? So you could pause it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to take it just a little bit further, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not paying attention to chat. No. Right, let's try and categorize this <laughs> oh you missed the s out mate um so um let's see initialize uh, we'll call this run, 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 right, so we've, we're trying to Right, so we've 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 categorised the states as well. So these these are states for initialising for initialising. These are states for when it's running and when the game has ended. Is is there any more? Um, I'm trying to think what I did in Neptune Landum. Instructions difficulty game initialise gameplay. Crash. Dead. High score. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's it. So, um, and so we put all our game logic in here, yeah? 
So if we go to our master, you know, we, we jump to start of game, which is in game logic more than likely. Yeah, game logic, start of game. Here. So what we can do here is we need to convert this into being the game loop and then use the state machine within the game loop to um, to um, Now, I was missing last night because I was playing pool and I tried to log on with the I with my iPad that I take with me. But they had no Wi-Fi where I was, so I couldn't see it. I was playing pool because I'm the captain of a pool team. I was playing with AQ and... 15 balls, I think it is. And I won all three games last night, if you would like to know. There you go. Look. One. 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 One all three games. One all three. I think. Am I top of the league yet? I'm top of the form, but not top of the league. I'm... And what, four points behind? But I'm top of the form. And I'm currently on a best winning streak. So there we go. So yeah. Uh, Tuesday nights is pool night. So I tried to watch it on the iPad, but they didn't have Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm going to be to I'm going to be watching the VOD uh, tomorrow. Um, spots or stripes? No, it's uh, red and yellow. Red and yellow balls. On a blue cloth. They had Wi-Fi, mate, but the, it was only for the locals, not for, not for visiting people. Blue cloth. <laughs> Touching cloth. <laughs> blue cloth. Yellow and red balls with a blue cloth. It was very off-putting. Blue. So yeah, so that's why I wasn't there. I was captain in my pool team. Yeah, um... We, we used to have a red cloth before it got changed. Now we've got a speed cloth on now. On our home table we've got a speed cloth so we can can do all sorts with the with the balls, make them curl and everything. But yeah, so that's where I was. I'll watch the VODs anyway. So back to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and c convert the the game loop into um, into a state machine. So we've got a, I've got a fair bit to do. So um, first things first, we need to initialize the state machine. So hash um, I don't think it's called call constants, is it? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No, we need that. Con con constants. That's not 
in a thing. No, it isn't. So game flow, initialize game. What, on a pool table? <laughs> on a pool table. All right, okay. Oh, I can't remember what I called it. Yeah, you can't type. I can't either. Did I call it storage? I'm sure. Oh, I've not. Um, oh, I've not namespaced that. Okay. There we go. I'm not namespaced that. <laughs> right. So we're setting the initial. How do you make a pool table laugh? I have no idea. <laughs> dear. Oh dear. Pull its leg, yeah, pull its leg. That's a bit cleaner. Right, so this is the start of the game, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be messing around inside. So I'm going to take a copy of this, just in case I screw it up. Right. That's just in case I screw it up. Right, so this is our game loop. So everything's going to be inside the game loop, yeah? There we are, game loop. So, what we need to do is we need to... LDA... Um, no. this uh, times it by 2 transfer into X and then we need to have a is it worth it John is it worth it no let's just do it the old-fashioned way Right, CPX. We need... We need an array. Okay, where am I going to put this array? At the top. Yeah, why not? All right, see you later, mate. Right. So, uh, constants, let's grab the constants. All 
Right, so this would be that, 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 that. that. I think we need another one. Dead and high score. Right, so that's our that's our game state array. So we'll 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 populate these when we start um, when we start doing it. All right, so. Um, So we times it by two, we load that. Comma X, store it in a somewhere. Where are we gonna store it? Not in there. Not in there. I don't think we used this, do we? So I wonder if it's here. Aha, here we go. Right, let's... Um, Let's use that parameter eight. And then INX and then grab that. And this one is in parameter nine. So um so when that's done uh JSR indirectly to parameter eight. No, can't do that. So JSR to indirect jump and then jump to game looper. So we then JSR to where we want to go and then we'll return back. Right. So let's start with initialization. So let's call GF no, GL, because we're in game logic, aren't we? Game logic, init game. Right, so let's uh, create that routine. So we'll do it here. That's it. So first things first, we want to do this. Because I think that's what we do when we start. Start game, yeah. So we're doing that. And. Now we're not going to do that. Because that's map level. This is map level as well. 
and that, and all of that. Right. Okay. So that's the that's the game initialization routine done. <laughs> I'm sure we'll put something else in there. Right. So we'll forget that one at the moment. Right. This one. GL. Um, init map. So we'll do that one. So init map. Is this basically all of that? That this all the way down to all the way down to there. No, in fact, it's all the way down to there, isn't it? So that should initialize the map. Now, I don't know why this is complaining. We'll see if it... Um, we'll see if it runs we'll indent that because that's driving me out the wall <laughs> and then GL um now GL plane, that's what we'll call it. So here So this is where we're gonna put the um rest of it right so not that not that not that what we will be doing all of that We'll get rid of some of this stuff in a bit. Get rid of that. So copy that. Put that in there. And at the end, put an RTS. Fact that goes like that. Right. OK. 
Can you hear that? <laughs> Aston's outside. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Well, the mic is picking it up, but yeah, he was going, Let me in! Let me in! Right, so... So we'll move this now to up here. To up there. And so everything's going to run from that. Um, but then again, no. No, 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 no. No. Let's initialize playing. We'll do it up here. We'll put it in there. And we'll leave the looper to do its job without any, without any, it's anything getting in the way. So right, so we've got that. That's right. That's. Why is that? All right. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Oh well. Right. Setup sprites. So we don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of some of this. We don't need that start of game because that's going to go straight into. Yeah. So we're going straight into game looper. Uh, da, 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 da. That should be in. Here. No, nope, not that. Here. Let's minimize that. Minimize that. Get that. Right. So, um, so the start of game does that. Get rid of that because we don't need it. Get rid of all that. In fact, we don't need that either. Right. So we need to change the states now. So when it's done the game initialized, the next one is initialize the map. So we need to here. So that will tell it to do going to initialize the map, which should then run the initialize map routine. And then we will do, so where's the initialize map? In fact, we'll do that here because it makes it easier, easier for us to change. 
And then here, an initialized map. So when it's done it and it does everything, we will set it to game flow running. Right, let's see if we've broken it. Yes, we broke it. Now that's probably something to do with this. Yes, it is. I've just realized what's wrong. <laughs> we don't lock the pup out in the cold no we haven't done that he probably wanted to go for toilet right oh you're joking Right, see, see if our, see if our, we, see how we're doing. Right, load game state, so that should be one, and it is. Oh, no wonder it's not working. Doe. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. And I thought this was going to be quick. Whoa. You'll have credit when it works. Okay, mate. No problem. Why are you breaking there? Did I put the break point there? Oh, yeah, I did. Ah. Ah. It's there. That's where I want it. Yeah, gonna say. Right. Load one. Yes. DX zero. Ugh. <sighs> right. See if it does it before I before I commit. Right, load one, load X with one, DX, transfer it away, times it by two, transfer it back to X, load that, store it there, load the next one, store it there, jump to it indirectly. Got you. Now it's working. Right, F6. Ooh! <laughs> I 
Now. That means I've got a hard jump somewhere. Right, that means I got a hard jump somewhere. Is everything here JSRs? Yes, it is. All right, is everything there JSRs? Yes, it is. Right, so where's it, where's it failing? Right. So we are definitely jump right. Let's look at um, was it seven a and seven a and seven b? Let's see where that's pointing. So that's pointing to zero, 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 zero. Oh dear. Right, where's our state? Where's our state variable? O2BC. O2BC is five. Five? Really? Where did I put it to five? So, where where would it go? Oh, hang on. Have I have I reused this as the same variable again? Yes, I have. Ah, look. That's why. Oh, you? Hey? You all right? Hey? Do you want to say hello? Or are you just going to moan at me? Hey? You want to say hello? Or are you just going to growl at me? Hey? Come here. Come here. Come on. Don't growl at me. Hey. Say hello. Hey, hello, everyone. Are you pretending you're not here? You starstruck? Hey? You're starstruck, matey. Aww. Aww. You're starstruck. Alright then. Should put that down. Go on then. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There you go, that's Nico for you. So you can see he's all right. Medication's working. He hasn't had any seizures. Touch wood for uh, two weeks now, I think. Right, now that problem was because I was reusing the variable. So it should be all right now. There we go. Right, so our state machine's now working, yeah? So, what we need to do now is to... <laughs> no, we fixed it. Yeah, we fixed it. What we need to do now is when we when we do the dazed... When we do the dazed bit, so... In quasi, 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 quasi... I think it's... Did it collide? I can't remember. Collision. No, I think it's quasi. I think it's in quasi, game quasi, where we specify dazed. In fact, let's do a quick search. Yeah, our game control. And we need to look in quasi as well. So game control sets the da dazed, dazed animation. Oh, so it's there. Oh, that's because we've got the ki we've got the kill key, haven't we? Where we where we made him dazed anyway. Right. So let's um, let's run that out. Because that's the dazed animation. So we're looking in game quasi. It's def. Yep, yeah, it's in quasi. Let's see if there's anywhere else. Game storage. That's the animation. Yeah. So it's definitely quasi. So here, um, so we've got a quasi state that says, um, all right, okay, quasi state, if it's plus, Ah, right, okay. <laughs> so we have a state already. But this is for the game, this is for the, the running state. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the state on the um, thing so we need to see where we're jumping to there have we got any jumps no it must be rammed out so it's got to be here right that's it that's where we want Here, because we rammed it out. All right. So we 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 first um, we see if he's. Let's create another window. There we go. So we see if he's um, being stupid, yeah, and we return back. Um, we return back whether. He's been stupid or not, which is the carry flag. So we set it if he's been stupid and it's clear if he's not been stupid. And then we jump to the dazed routine. Right, so 
But this is going to be different now, yeah? So if we do that, and do that, so in the quasi-dazed routine, we'll ram all this out. Set for that, and we will put in that is going to um, dazed mode. And then RTS. So now in game logic, here we go. So in here, we can copy all this lot now. And create another one called GL um, now this will handle all the stuff for quasi yeah so, let's put an RTS there. So at the moment, it's just going to set Quasi to be dazed. And if and once he's set, we're not setting the animation up again. So it's going to set the animation up and then that's it. Right? So I can get rid of that. So now Quasi's in the line of fire because we've, we've activated it. So if we go back into there... If he falls into the fire now, he should be dazed. Oh, and guess what I forgot? That's what I forgot. So if he falls into the fire, hmm. What am I missing? I wonder if it's that. There we go. Now that's running too quick because, because we need this in. That's why I'm thinking of having it in the the main loop because we're going to need to use it everywhere right let me just put this here right start of game yeah the rest split breaks yeah no 
Now, okay, so how are we going to salt that? Um, okay, we'll just put it in there. We'll leave it in there. So we'll put that there. Do the update. Grab the second one, which is this one here. Put that there. This is giving me the creeps now. Doubling up on code. I don't really want to double up on code. I don't really want to double up on code, but that's how it's going to be, I think. Hey, oh, I didn't hear that. Did that not, did that sound come through? Because I didn't hear that. Hey, Doxter. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Oh, I heard that. Okay. Grab that. Oh, this is dirty. This is dirty. I don't like it. Right, let's see if it um see if it keeps everything. Right, okay, so it's kept everything intact. I can live with that. Right, so what we need to do now is um, we now need to we need to update we need to be able to update the lives. So when he gets dazed, we update the lives um, and then have a cap. We either have um, press a key to continue, or we we have a timer for. A, for uh, what do you think's best? Press a key to continue or a timer? Timer, okay. Um, da, 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 da. So let's um, let's figure out how we're gonna do the updating of updating of the um, the hood. We don't have, I don't think, we don't have any, um, oh, where did that go? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, nice. Right. So we, I don't know if we've got a, a lives... No, we don't. BF. So we need to set that up into in um, 
initialize game. So five store it there. So that's initializing his lives, yeah. And then what we need to do then is when we do the update. So here, up oh, display timer. Oh, we don't do any updates, do we? We don't update the HUD. We only update the timer. Um, and the position, and that's it. Okay. So we can do that here. So once we've set the animation, we can do that here. So it's a case of um, working out where it is. Right. I think I've got a way of working out where it is. Right, so I think these are the hearts. Do we get a position? Does it tell us where the position is? Yes, we do. That's one five. Okay. So, first heart. First heart is row one five and column one three okay okay we can do that And it's a two by two. Right, we can do that. We can do that. So, um, so uh, one five times oh, forty, forty two two at two eight. It's right, so that's three hundred three hundred and forty-eight hex plus twelve no thirteen. So that would equal three five B uh plus D four hundred equals D seven five B. So that is where we should be aiming for. So to change the state, to change the state on the, I don't want I don't want to be change I don't want to be changing the the heart color every cycle. I just want to do it. So I've got a got to think carefully now because now we should be okay okay so let's do it so we're gonna load um, quasi lies left in fact we'll LD exit no no a uh, so we're stuck, right, we're at five, so we're going to, oh right, okay, I'm going to have to do what I did before, LD exit, DX, transfer X into A, times it by two, 
transfer A into X. Right. So that gives us our index. That gives us our index. So we can then go um, LDA hash gray, store it in uh, D7, 5B, comma X. D7, 5C, comma X. D7, it's too late in the day to work this out. D783. Right, that should, um, in fact, we'll store that back. And then do CPX hash uh, branch if equal to quasi no more lives And we'll just put an RTS there at the moment. So we de we load the number of lives. We de-ex it because he's, he's had an accident. We store it back. So that's effectively remo removing the life. If it's equal to zero, then game over. So here we would, here we're going to add game state dead. But we're just going to let it run through at the moment. But we're going to get, hopefully, this should um should make um a a, a a heart go go um gray let's see so we've got four red hearts oh <laughs> boom didn't do it Let's see. So we're looking at that heart there. So walk into the Has it stopped? Oh, it's at the break point. Huh. Right. How do I get rid of that arrow? Off, off the screen. There we go. Right. So. Set it. Load number of lives. Five. Make it four. Branch if equal, no it ain't. Transfer X into A, times it by two. Transfer it back into X. 
Yeah. Load C. So we should start seeing these colours change. No. So what? Where are we changing? Hang on. The colour RAM is at D. Is it D eight hundred? Ah. Colour RAM's at D800, isn't it? Ah, oh, no wonder it's not changing colour. D8 plus 3, 8, 9, A, 8, 9, A, 0, 1, 2, B, D, B. Right, into the pond we go. There we go. Right. Right, so that should change the colours. Here we go. No? Oh, there we go. There's one. It's only done three of them. Oh. You're not paying attention, guys. Not paying attention. All right, let's take that breakpoint out. Let's do it properly. Right, fall into the. There. Now we've got a bit of a glitch. Yeah, <laughs> fell asleep. Cheers. <laughs> right, it's gone grey. I don't know if it's dark enough. It's gone grey, but we've got a bit of a glitch now. So I'm just wondering if um, we're going through the same routine many times. Because really, it should be going through here. So it should be doing that raster. Testing the state. If it's not, it should be updating the sprites. Oh, maybe, maybe the sprites are too much. Hang on. Let's update the sprites there. So let's change that to dark grey. Right, C. That's better. That's better. Right, so we've got it now to to lose a heart. So we was talking about having a timer, yeah? Um so how long do you think? How long? Cuz if we have a timer Yeah. Three seconds, okay. Right, so three seconds is... It's 50 frames a second, yeah? So that's 150. Oh, 
where's my storage gone? That's not it. I need to sort this out. That's not it. That's it. Right, we'll use that one as the um, as the timer hanger on her. So we'll store that in there. So that's initialising the three second delay. So here, so here we will decrease that. Uh, branch if not equal to continue, which is here. Ladies and gentlemen, 6502 Kebab has entered the chat. <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't, not yet. So if it is zero, that means we have um, finished the delay. So we need to load... And I'm just going to check something here. Yep. Yeah. That should be all right. So we load that and then store it in... Store it in there. So decrease our timer. If it's not equal to zero, carry on. If it is equal to zero, then send it back to initialize the map and that should start us off again. Should. F5. So, walk into the fire. Oh. Right. Okay. Something is not clearing out. Um, what could that be? What could that be? Also, the lives are coming back. Um, right, so we need to put the root in the um, in the HUD creator system, we need to put that code in that we've just put into in here, in here. So in the HUD. Um, So it's going to be in the game initialization. Draw map, draw hood. So it's in map. There we go. So it's in here. So we'll put it there. 
So we're not doing X, X in it. We're not getting doing that. We're just loading it. Uh, that that's fine. Right. Okay. Let's do it again. So die. Go down one. Timer come. Oh, down to. Oh yeah, because he's it's run through it twice. Oh, that's not good. I think we need another. I think we need another hood. I think we need another hood uh, state. Um, I think we need another state. So what we got in the states? Initialize the map. Um, I think we need another one in there. So initialize the map to start with and then reset the map. Reset? Yeah, reset. Right. So that's initialize. Tidy this up a bit. Right. That is not, that's, that's going to be GL reset map. Right, so we need another one. So let's, so this is the initialized map. So basically we need to copy this. Paste it there. Right, reset map. So, initialize the map, draw it on the screen. We don't need to do the hood. Don't think we need to redraw the hood. Set up the bad guys again. Set up the reset values. Set up the sprites. Frame counters. Map initialize map variables. Okay, what's that? Map, 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 map. Initialize map variables, were they? Here we go. Yep, 
Yep, that can stay in. Right, so we need to change when we die now to go to here. That's jail playing. Dazed. Here we go. Reset map. Right, let's try that. Fall into the fire. Right, that sorted the that out, but we've still got the problem that it thinks it's died. It thinks Quasi died. Um What hasn't been done? What hasn't been done? What needs to be done? That's the thing. That. I bet that needs to be redone. So we reset, but we evaluate where Quasi is. on the reset, which is here. Right, let's see if that does it. Oh! <laughs> right. Right, let's see what happens when we get spiked. So he dies. Oh! Okay. That means we have to do that as well. So we're reevaluating all the collisions. Right, let's try that again. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Right. Fall into the fire. Okay, that's working okay. Right. Oh, get in there. Oh, <laughs> get in there. Right. So the next thing is... Ooh, there's a glitch. So I'm going to have to reset the hood. Okay, okay, we're going to have to reset the hood. Um, 
So we'll put this... If we're resetting the hood, we might as well initialize the map. Might as well just run through the map. Okay. We'll put it back to... Um, That's dazed. Uh, here. Right. Let's put it back to initialized map. Get it to redo the HUD, but we're going to have to put some code in the HUD to, uh, to deal with it. Because the hood was going all screwy. Right, map. So, tile, hood. Here we go, draw hood. So, what we need to do is... Um, yeah, what we need to do is here... Load Y, transfer Y to A, transfer into X, do that. Right, so, um, CPY hash 5, uh, branch if equal to that, which is down here. And we will then do we will do that so we load the number of lives that we've got, which is three, and we gray them all out. So if it's five, it should jump out straight away. So it doesn't do anything. Right, let's try that. So, die. One life down. Two lives down. So the reset, we need to do the reset. We need to do the reset. Right, we need to do the reset. But I've got a, I think, I've got a way to do that. So we're going to put that back to reset. But in the reset part, which is here, we are going to go JSR GL init map. So we're initializing the map as well. So we're going to get rid of all this because we don't need it now. And all we need is that bit at the end. Gila, initialize the map, sort out the collisions, change it to running. Hey presto. In fact, I think init map changes it to running as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So we don't even need to do that. Right. Let's try it again.
I don't know what this is. No, <laughs> what a pathetic jump. <laughs> right. I'm not sure what's happening at the edge there. Um, have we got a clear anywhere? Have we got a clear? Um, I wonder if it's in the setup victory. Hang on. Oh yeah. So if we do that first, then initialize, then we should be all right. Right, die. Nope. So it's been drawn on afterwards. Okay. Okay. But that's here. It doesn't do it first, but it does it afterwards. Um, okay. Oh, I'm not quick enough. <laughs> what a pathetic jump. <laughs> oh, nice. Well done, John. Keep going. Eh, uh, can't get me now. Oh, bit of glitching going on there. Oh, that was close. Ah! Oh, the colour's gone way wrong. That's because. Oh, why is that happening? It's not redrawn the map, has it? Okay, mate. Talk to you later. I think I know what went that's what's going on. Um when I think we're not resetting we're not resetting the screen back to the original back to the original one, back to screen one. 
So we draw the map on screen one. So we need to set it back to screen one. And that's initialized fit that's the initialized VIP chip. I think let's see. Let's just have a look. Initialize the VIP chip. What's that doing? Uh, sets the basic out, chucks that. Yeah, we need to initialize the VIP chip. We need to initialize it back. So we'll initialize the VIP chip back and then that should do it. Right, let's see. Oh, come on, John, you can bet than this. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic jump. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I am rubbish. There we go. Oh, luckily I've got infinite lives. Well, we're testing the collisions, all right. <laughs> Stupid jump. Oh, come on, John, you can do better than this. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just pants. Just keep jumping, John. There we go. Right, do we reset? Yes, but where's Quasi now? Oh, he's there. I still don't understand why this is here. That's weird, that is. But that's a task for you guys to sort out. You can figure out why that is appearing there. So, we've got our lives that are decreasing. We haven't got the death routine yet because we're still running even though we've got no lives. But, at least now the collision is working and I am just absolutely rubbish at this. Oh, I can't even jump. 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 There we go. Oh, as I was falling, I got skewered. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna put the we're gonna put the timer test in. So, basically, we need to when we when we evaluate when we sort out the timer. Right, where's the timer? Display timer. It's got to be in there. Map display timer. It must be in there. Yeah, right, display, map, 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 here we go. 
So display quasi position. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Display timer. There we go. So, um, actual timer plus one. Right, so when we, um, we're looking at zero, aren't it? Time, actual time plus one. So that must be the fraction. So it's actual time plus one we're looking at. And so when that becomes zero, I suppose, we set Just check. So it's definitely number of characters. Right, so we're looking at that, number of characters. So when we get to... But then again, it's not, is it? It's... Um... It's the actual time, isn't it? So we're going to look at this. Load that. And in fact, we can do it here. So compare with zero, branch if not equal to continue. Then we can do the change of state. So if we've run out of time, we change it to um, dazed, days, days, days. Uh, where do where do we? I forgot where we do that. Hang on, quasi again, quasi there. So we load the actual time. When it becomes zero, we say quasi's dazed. Right, let's run it out. Let's run the timer out and see if it works. So we may be here for a while. Come on. Oh, it's like waiting for paint to dry. Right, we're in the red zone. So when it becomes empty, we should go into dazed mode and lose a life. Oh, 
Oh, that's because of this. Right, okay. Grab that. Get rid of that. Put it there. Now <laughs> I'm going to have to wait again. <laughs> Come on. We have to figure out what we're going to do for bonuses. That's something we need to do. And also I was thinking about power-ups. Um, how we're going to try and do power-ups. I've got an idea. Um, but we have to decide if we're going to have power-ups. And how we're going to score. What's going to, what we're going to do for scoring. I think the timer should be part of the score. So when you when you do achieve the uh, the goal in the level, that whatever's left on the timer add gets added to your score. I think we also need to under we need to figure out what we're going to do for bonuses and stuff like that. Come on. There we go. Ran out of time, he's lost a life, and we're away again. Right, so the time of it works now. <laughs> oh, right, I've got to. Ooh, that's close. Get up there! <laughs> If this is the first level, people are not going to play it because it's too hard. What? what a pathetic jump. Ah! Well... I think that's that's what I wanted to achieve in this stream, which, which is to activate the lives, get the get code to be reconfigured into a state machine, get the uh, lives being displayed correctly, and get the timer to also do it. So I've done what I wanted to do in this stream. Oh, I did it as well. Oh, what? What? What, 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 what? Uh, I'm a bit concerned that Quasi's not available, not there. I mean, he's jumping. Oh, there he is. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can have a look at that next. You guys can have a look at that. Um, when you look at the code, find out what what's causing the bug. So there's two bugs. There's one here that we can see when we restart, and also where Quasi's off the screen, and when it resets, he doesn't come back until you move. All right. I, well, I think that's a great, that's a good point to stop at, and and then we'll continue all this um, death stuff later, and try and uh, you know think about bonuses, try and look at the maps, try and make them a bit more um, friendly. I think Stace, if Stacey's still on, I think you're mess, you're going to be messing around, aren't you, just to tweak them. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining. And I will see you on Monday. All right, take care. Bye. 
I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.